Hello! In this video, we will learn about the features and basic operation of the M100 and the simple test run method. Since the keypad is used for basic setting and use of the inverter, you must learn how to operate the keypad and set the display window to use the inverter. Therefore, we will first know the characteristics of the M100 inverter. Learn the basic operation method of the keypad. Learn how to edit parameters. And finally introduce the basic test operation method. In the small single phase drive M100 inverter, M stands for micro, and it is a small capacity inverter that receives single phase input from 200 volts to 240 volts. Unlike other inverters, the M100 inverter is hidden except for the operation group to prevent erroneous input when shipped from the factory. So, even if you press the mode shift key, you cannot move between groups. Therefore, by pressing the down arrow key and the enter key, enter 1 in the OGR code of the driving group and press the Enter key twice to release the hiding process. And you can return to the default group by pressing the Mode Shift key. In addition, M100 has the feature that the default control mode in the drive group is set to Slip Compensation Control. Slip Compensation means that the difference between the rotation speed and the set frequency of an induction motor increases according to the load factor. Now, in the first order, let's look at the configuration of parameters of M100. There are 12 parameter groups in M100, and you can move between groups by pressing the Mode Shift key located at the bottom left of the keypad. When power is applied to M100, the first parameter group you can see is the operation group. If you press Mode Shift key in order, you can move in order of the drive group, basic functional group, extended function group, control function group, input terminal block function group, output terminal block function group, Communication Function Group Application Function Group Protection Function Group and Second Motor Function Group For reference, the Second Motor Function Group appears only when the function item of the multifunction input terminal is set to Second Motor. Finally, you can go to the Config Mode Group. If you press the Mode Shift key one more time in the last group, you can move to the first operation group. Next, let's see how to move from code to code within a group. Use the up and down arrow keys to move between codes. If you press the up arrow key, you can move to the next parameter. If you press the down arrow key, you can move to the previous parameter. Now, let's see how to edit parameters. First, let's edit the target frequency. The initial screen 0.00, .00 indicates the target frequency. If you press the Enter key on the initial screen, it enters the edit screen with the set lamp on and the cursor blinking. When entering the edit screen, the rightmost number blinks and the set lamp turns on. You can change the number of blinking digits by using the up and down arrow keys. If you want to edit another digit, you can move the cursor by pressing the Mode Shift key. In this example, we will set the target frequency to 60 Hz. First, use the Mode Shift key to move the cursor to the digit 10, and then use the up and down arrow keys to change the number to 6. After matching the numbers, press the Enter key once, and all the numbers will blink. At this time, 
you have to press the Enter key once more to complete the value change and turn off the set lamp. Next, let's change the acceleration time to 10 seconds. Press the up arrow key once to move to the parameter that can change the acceleration time. Then, press the Enter key to enter the edit screen. As in the previous method of setting the frequency, use the mode shift key and the up down arrow keys to change the value to 10. And then press the enter key twice to change the value. Now it is set to accelerate to 60 Hertz in 10 seconds. Next, try setting the deceleration time to 10 seconds as well. Since the setting method is the same, we will omit it in this video. Next, we will select the driving command method. In the previous screen, use the up arrow key to move to the DRV parameter. Here, press the enter key to enter the edit screen. When entering the edit screen, the previously set value blinks. Here, the meaning of the numbers is the same as the table shown on the screen. If it is 1, it is set as FXRX1 and means the operation signal input through the multifunction input terminal. In this example, we will change it to number 0 in order to operate it as a keypad. Similarly, press the Enter key twice to save the edited content. Next, to edit the frequency setting method, press the up arrow key once to move to the frequency parameter. Confirm the value by pressing the Enter key. When entering the edit screen, the previously set value blinks. Here, the meaning of the numbers is the same as the table shown on the screen. That is, if it is 0, it is set as keypad 1 and it means that the frequency set by the keypad on the initial screen is set as the target. We will not change this parameter. After exiting by pressing the Enter key, press Mode Shift to return to the initial screen at once. Now, let's drive the inverter. When the Run key is pressed, the forward and run LEDs are turned on and the 7 segment displays the current output frequency. If you do not change the acceleration mode, it will accelerate according to the acceleration time set by default. So it will reach the maximum frequency and target frequency of 60 Hz in 10 seconds, which is the previously set acceleration time. If you want to stop, press the Stop Reset button to decelerate and stop. Therefore, if the deceleration time is set to 10 seconds, it will stop in 10 seconds. Next, let's test by changing the frequency setting method. Use the up and down arrow keys to navigate to the frequency parameter and change its value to 2. The two points in the built-in volume on the right side of the M100 keypad. Set to 2 to continuously change the target frequency with the built-in volume. Return to the initial screen again and watch the frequency change by turning the built-in volume. When the volume points to minimum, it displays 0 Hz, and when it points to maximum, it displays the maximum frequency of 60 Hz. After setting the frequency, Try to operate it by pressing the Run key as well. You can continuously change the target frequency by volume while driving. Above, we learned about the basic operation of the M100 and how to run a simple test run. Thank you.